And here's a big story this evening. It's a setback for Kotak Mahindra Bank because the RBI has gone ahead and banned the private lender from onboarding fresh customers through its online platforms. The RBI has also ordered Kotak Mahindra Bank to stop issuing any fresh credit cards. Why have we seen this action from the RBI towards the bank? Uh, let's find out. My colleague Ankur Mishra has been tracking this news for us. He's joining us. Ankur, uh, tell us about the strict action taken by the RBI on Kotak Mahindra Bank. Yes, Reserve Bank of India has taken an action on Kotak Mahindra Bank and now fresh additions in online and mobile banking of customers as well as fresh issuance of credit cards will not be possible for the bank till the time this embargo is there. However, there will be no impact on existing customers and that has been specified by the regulator. Now, why this action has been taken? Because there has been repeated instances of lack of and deficiency of uh, IT infrastructure working properly as per regulator because there has been assessment of the years uh, between 2022 and 23 and after a con continuous engagement with the bank and uh, the bank giving a reply, uh, the regulator was not satisfied with those answers. In fact, an instance of 15th April was also mentioned by the regulator uh, where the customers faced problems. Remember, we at ET now had also reported the instances where several customers had faced uh, issues with withdrawal uh, uh, of uh, withdrawal of their money from the bank. There were also in instances where the customers were not able to do the normal banking services in the branch also because there was an issue with core banking server of the bank and therefore since main servers was down uh, uh, there were issues throughout the day uh, for customers and uh, regular banking services were impacted. So all in all the bank needs to take corrective actions in fact an audit needs to be conducted by the bank and after that external audit which is completed only then Reserve Bank of India will review the action. Right, so we'll have to wait uh, for the outcome of the external audit that uh, is going to be conducted. Uh, thanks for that, Ankur. But uh, yes, certain views have come in on Kotak Mahindra Bank on uh, the kind of action that the RBI has taken. This is definitely going to impact uh, the bank. IFL Securities, for one, has uh, shared its stake on the bank's credit card business. And Gaurav, my colleague, is here to tell us about it. Gaurav, uh, what is IFL Securities' uh, view on the RBI action on Kotak Mahindra Bank? Well, yes. On back of the IT concerns, now RBI has banned Kotak Mahindra Bank from onboarding any new customers via their online and mobile application channels. And at the same time, they have also banned the bank from issuing new credit cards. Although they can actually cater the existing customers via their online channels, including their credit card customers. But RBI has mentioned that this step is taken because of the continuous failure on the part of the bank to address its IT concerns. Now let's look at some of the numbers from Kotak Mahindra Bank. According to IIFL, Kotak's credit card market share stands at 5.8% and number of credit card actually grew almost by 21% on a YOY basis. Now this credit card book for Kotak Mahindra Bank has grown almost by 33% on a Kager basis post-COVID and now it stands at 4% of the total loan book. Coming to the digital lending side, customer addition via digital lending was also strong. It was at 25% Kager in the last five years and recently in FI23 only, uh, Kotak added 630,000 customers via their digital channels. And uh, if you look at the total loan book also almost 80 to 99 percent of the new business like personal loans credit card and business lending in terms of volume is done via digital channels now let's come to unsecured lending also in addition to this credit card segment the personal loan has been growing at 20 percent kager and unsecured loan now stands at 12 percent of the total loan book versus what it was at 7 percent in fi20 now IFL is actually expecting this impact to be two-fold impact. First would be a slowdown in unsecured lending books. So for example, we have already seen that unsecured book has shown uh, a growth of 44% on a YY basis in 3QFI24. And at the same time, they are also expecting higher NIM comparison versus the peers. So they, are, they, they anticipate that there was an expansion of 37 basis points since FI22 because of the faster growth in unsecured book. But because of this move, we may see some slowdown in this book as well. So all in all, a pessimistic view coming up on IFL, definitely there is going to be a pessimistic reaction also on Kotak Mahindra Bank, but we will definitely watch out for the commentary coming up from the management on this action. 
Well, how deep a hit uh, the stock's going to take in uh, the near future is something that uh, we will be tracking and whether or not that actually happens is uh, still a question. Let's uh, pose this uh, to our experts joining us on this discussion. Ashtosh uh, K. Mishra is the head of research uh, for institutional equity at Ashka Group and Aditya Shah is the founder of Hercules Advisors. Gentlemen, thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, Aditya, to you first. Uh, now Kotak Bahindra Bank can, cannot issue new credit cards. The bank cannot onboard new customers through online or mobile banking. How much of this action is because of customer acquisition perhaps taking precedence, riding over risk management in a broader sense for our banking system, you would say? Uh, so this is a big setback for Kotak Mahindra Bank in the sense that, uh, of course, the credit card business is not a very big business for Kotak Mahindra Bank. About 3 to 4 percent of their uh, total AUM is in the credit cards business. But overall, digital acquisition for Kotak uh, was a big part of their strategy. The 811 uh, calling uh, calling app that they had uh, was driving a lot of customer acquisitions. So yes, you can say that RBI has found loopholes. And as we've seen with other companies as well, once RBI, find, <coughs> once RBI finds some loopholes, uh, it will uh, try to engage with the bank and finally take some regulatory action. So yes, you can say that there have been lapses. And it comes at a very bad time for Kotak Mahindra Bank when the bank is already undergoing some trans, uh, management transition. Um, now they have been hit by the regulator. So net-net, um, not a good uh, situation for Kotak Bank. The numbers uh, will not be uh, as big a hit, but the reputational hit for Kotak, which is known to be uh, compliant with the regulator and is a very good bank, uh, is something that, is, that will not be taken very positively by the market. So net-net, negative for the bank. And we now have to see what steps the bank really takes to uh, address this issue and work with the regulator. In fact, uh, we've heard from Kotak Mahindra Bank. Their statement has come through on the RBI's action. And I'm just uh, quoting what uh, the bank is saying. The bank has taken measures for adoption of new technologies to strengthen its IT system is what uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank is saying. And they will continue to work with the RBI to swiftly resolve balance issues at the earliest. They want to reassure the existing customers of uninterrupted uh, services, and that includes credit card uh, customers, mobile and net banking. Branches continue to onboard new customers, says uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank, and branches will provide new customers all services apart from new credit cards. That's a word coming in from Kotak Mahindra Bank, that statement, in response to the RBI's action. Uh, but uh, do weigh in on this, Ashtosh Mishra. How much of a hit and in what ways do you reckon the retail business of Kotak Mahindra Bank will take because of the strictures placed now by the RBI? Are we likely to see rumblings in its earnings through a couple of quarters to come? Yes, so we are going to see the impact on the uh, you know, growth, uh, especially growth prospect on the retail business. The major part of the retail business acquisition, uh, business acquisition was going through the digital, part, uh, digital front and that is going to get impacted, especially 811, where you uh, know the, the all the incremental deposit customer is being uh, you know uh, taken by the bank for, through that route. So when we are now focusing on the deposit growth, and and we are getting that the bank cannot you uh, know uh, onboard any new customer, we are going to see uh, impact on overall performance of the bank, especially how they are going to fund the growth going forward from here. But uh, one more thing which we need to focus, especially on a uh, no, when we look at a, no the financial impact of the same. Uh, if compared to the many other banks, Kotak was more preferred to grow the, through the digital uh, uh, mode rather than the physical mode. So in the last two years, they have ordered, added only roughly 200 branches near two. Uh, whereas if you look, you know, uh, uh, many other uh, large private banks are adding in between 400 to more than 1,000 branches per year. And, and, and then Kotak's ad number of branch addition was quite less. So uh, probably with this uh, step coming in, um, management may need to revisit their you know, physical versus digital strategy. Yes. And we go for that part of it, 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 it will have an impact on cost. So this reassessment of the digital push that many banks uh, would be going through with, if there are strictures of this kind, uh, the growth may be hampered is the real question. Aditya, the RBI is saying that it has found serious deficiencies and non-compliances in IT inventory management with Kotak, patch and change management, user access management, vendor risk management, data security, data leak prevention strategy, business continuity and disaster recovery rigor and drill. 
The question really is, could other banks have similar problems that the central bank is citing in Kotak's case that may yet to be uh, discovered in times uh, where we are looking at a digital push for growth in our banking system? First of all, it needs to be made very clear that the banking system in India is safe and sound. What the RBI is really doing here is RBI is saying that it needs to prevent any problem that will come about. So it is asking all the banks to be very vigilant in the uh, systems and technology that they really put in. So uh, RBI has found, has made some regulations around the digital infrastructure that the banks really need to follow. And it has found some banks are not following those. Today, it has pointed out Kotak Mahindra Bank. This will in turn have a chain effect and all other banks will start to look at their systems and processes in place. Uh, here, the RBI is warning all the banks uh, in the entire banking sector that please be really very careful. Please pull up your socks and have systems and uh, processes in place so that there's no problem as such. So in my opinion, yes. this is a good move and there's no problem as such with the banking sector. Yes. However, banks will pull up their socks and work more on making the making themselves compliant with the banking sector. While you're saying that, Aditya, this is more than just a warning because there is action being taken over here. And uh, certainly there is a precedence, like my colleague was pointing out as well uh, with another bank. The RBI has said in a statement that for two consecutive years, Kotak Mahindra Bank has been assessed to be deficient in its IT risk and information security governance. And this contrary to requirements under the regulatory guidelines. So would this also mean that banks are given enough time by the banking regulator to course correct when deficiencies are found? And if so, then why are banks not doing it? That's a real question. Ashutosh, what do you think? Banks are taking many steps at this point of time, but uh, yes, uh, they are quite behind it. And especially I have some surprised the language which RBI has used in that they have uh, you know, asked the bank or highlighted this to the bank or bank manager for not, not taking the sufficient action. And that's why RBI was forced to take this action. So that was a bit surprise uh, part of it. We would like to hear from the management part, you know, what is their plan going ahead on this front. Uh, bank across the line, are taking steps, but these steps are much lesser than what RBI want. And probably with this action, uh, no, uh, we are going to see a substantial change in strategy across the Indian bank on the IT spending. Uh, when we do some ground check, we are clearly saying, uh, no, finding that Indian banks are trying to cut corner on the cost front, especially on the IT part of it. With RBI now, you know, uh, putting Kotak in such a difficult scenario because of this whole thing. Many other banks will take uh, no, uh, remedial actions learning from this whole experience. That, uh, and Aditya is also kind of suggesting that uh, we are hearing warning bells for the entire banking system that the banking regulator is putting out and uh, we'll see exactly how the banking uh, system as a whole continues to kind of up its game with that digital push. Uh, Customer acquisition, of course, through different channels is going to be something that the banking sector to grow will have to do. But uh, the checks and balances within the system to ensure that these systems are robust and are managing risk well, that's something that uh, RBI as banking uh, regulator is doing with all its might. Uh, we will keep tracking the story, but uh, both Ashutosh and Aditya, thank you very much for joining us with your perspective on India Tonight. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.